Is this thing on? What's up guys, Vertigo Studios here, bringing you another map review. Today we're going to be looking over GM underscore Alpine Mesa. This map was created by Anders. Alpine Mesa is a research facility, and also a satellite campus on the iconic Black Mesa. Let's go have a look around, shall we? This map has a few cool features, such as this underground tunnel. Where it leads to, we'll find out very soon. Hey Gary, why don't you go find out for us? Hmm, <laughs> that was easy. Uh, Gary, I'd be careful around that stuff if I were you. Down in the tunnel, you'll see a mounted machine gun along with what looks to be a radio and some ammo. I decided to add a bright light for Gary, as you cannot see down here. Seems to be a dead end. Why don't you take that door to your left? Yeah, that one. Yep, go. Alright, let's go see what he's up to. I don't plan on showing you the entire map. But I do need to find out where Gary went. Huh. Alright, well, let's go find him. Well, I couldn't seem to find Gary anywhere, so let's continue with the map review. This map features a tram that goes underground connecting with this military base right here. And of course, the military base. Oh! Gary, what are you doing down there? Alright. This map was inspired by and originally based off of the iconic CSC Desert. It originally started as a modification of the map. Later on, the author decided to start off mostly from scratch. Alright, let's have a look in the military base. In the military base, you will find these two trucks, these two crates that say Black Mesa on them, helicopter, and more trucks. There's a huge hangar that has another truck and a Humvee on it, and what looks to be helicopter wreckage. From here, you can either go two ways, down the elevator to the left, or through the high security door to the right. I'm not going to go through the security door to the right, you guys can do that on your own. Let's take a trip down the elevator, shall we? Well, that wasn't so bad. Again, I'm not going to ruin the map for you. But you can find this on your own. There's an elevator at the end of this hallway that can lead you even further underground. Let's head over back to the beach. Here you can find a tunnel. Be careful down there, Gary. Once you make it out of the tunnel, there's even more area. There's a gas station here that seems to be abandoned. Moving on. Once you go through the second tunnel, you'll find this beautiful scenery with high cliffs. If you go to the left, there's even a lake. Gary, get out of the water, we have a map review to do. If you go to the right, there seems to be another lake. And yet, even more trees. Once you get past the water and the rocks, you can find here what I can only think of being as a factory or a mine. It does have an interior, but I'm not going to spoil that for you guys. This map really is beautiful, and I think the author did a great job of making it. Even if it was inspired, there's still a great deal of thought and effort put into this project. There's even more for you guys to find out on this map, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. Go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment on the author's page, and see what you think of this map. I love this map, and I think it's great for role-playing, PvP, and even machinimas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like on this video, comment your thoughts on the map, I'll link the author's Steam profile in the description down below. Go ahead and check him out. Again, leave your feedback on his add-on page. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.